What's going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about this. The best fifth wheel hitch for short bed trucks. Hey guys, my name is James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name is Goose and this is Maverick. Come join us. This is the Demco Hijacker Auto Slider Hitch with an 18,000 towing pound capacity. This thing is a beast. First off, okay, let's talk about what an auto slider hitch is. If you've been doing your research, you might already know, but here's a quick 30 second recap. A auto slider hitch is designed for short bed trucks, so that way you're allowed to turn up to 90 degrees. Because if you have a normal fifth wheel hitch, you probably can't turn more than 20, maybe 45 degrees before your trailer turns sharp enough in the corner, busts out your rear window. So this will automatically slide back up to 14 inches, allowing you to do those hairpin turns or U-turns that you need to do in some trailer parks or when you get into a tricky situation. And just so you guys are aware, I'm gonna go ahead and link this up down below. So if you guys wanna head over to Amazon, see what other people say in reviews, or check out the more detailed specifics such as, you know, tongue weight, size, dimensions, all that kind of stuff, you can go ahead and head over there and check that out. But with that being said, let's talk about the pros and cons of this Demco Hijacker Auto Slider Hitch. All right guys, let's talk about the three reasons why I feel like this is the best fifth wheel hitch for short bed trucks. One, with a normal fifth wheel hitch, you're gonna bust out your rear window in a short bed truck. So that just kinda has to get tossed out the window immediately. Number two, you have the option of a manual slider hitch. And those would totally work and they will be more affordable, I'm not gonna lie. But you have to get out of the truck, manually unhitch it, slide it back, lock it back into place, and get back into the truck every single time you think you're gonna hit a corner that might be too tight. And that's just a pain in the butt when it's raining, when you don't know where you're going, when you're stressed, when you have kids crying in the backseat, all of which has happened while I've been towing with this for the past six months. So in my opinion, manual slider hitches just it's not worth it. And number three, there are other auto slider hitches out there, but this is the only one that I found that does not require a capture plate. A capture plate is a separate plate you have to buy specifically to go on your fifth wheel truck. And unfortunately, there are a ton of different pin boxes out there on all sorts of different fifth wheels. So if you have two different trailers you wanna tow or you wanna tow a buddy's fifth wheel, you need to get a specific capture plate for that trailer. And this one, it manually adjusts. You can slide this in and slide this out depending on the size of your pin box. So I can tow my trailer and then five minutes later, go hook up to a friend's trailer or somebody else's trailer and tow that with no issues. Plus, I was having such a struggle finding the correct uh, capture plate for my pin box on my trailer. I was doing all sorts of research, going to the uh, manufacturer's website, and I just couldn't find it. So in my opinion, the Polarite Auto Slider Hitch just wasn't worth the headache of trying to find the right capture plate, as well as just that additional cost for every trailer that you want to tow. All right, now that you've heard my pros, let's talk about the cons, because this is by no means a perfect fifth wheel hitch. I would say my biggest beef with this hitch is this uh, system of loosening and tightening this onto your pin box, which is needed, like otherwise you would have to have those capture plates, but because it's a one size fits all, you do have to loosen this every time you want to hook up your trailer. So you gotta unscrew these four bolts, about an inch each and then slide these out because this will be nice and tight on your pin box and then when you pull out in order to get it back in you gotta loosen it and then you can attach and retighten it and that is something you have to do every time you want to hook up the other con is just kind of a general con about auto slider fifth wheel hitches they are massive this thing takes up a big amount of space in the uh, truck bed. So uh, that is something to be aware of the difference between a normal fifth wheel hitch and a auto slider hitch. They are much beefier and heavier. But that's just kind of something you're gonna have to deal with with any auto slider hitch, whether it be the Polarite or the Demco, they're just gonna take up more space. But for me, that space is worth the peace of mind of not busting out my window and having glass shards fall over my babies in the back seat. All right, now that you got an overview of the pros and cons, let's go ahead and talk about what you will get if you do order this product. The, uh, hit, the Demco hitch comes in three separate parts. The first is this top head right here, which actually has this really cool uh, quick release. You pull off this pin and then the giant pin, which is actually what it pivots on right here, pulls out. That thing's a beast. And then you can, you can easily remove the head, which gives you a much larger bed. I've actually been able to fit two dirt bikes back here side by side once I remove that so you can actually use your bed. Otherwise, uh, like I said, because it's so big, it's hard to maximize the space back here, but with one pin removed, 
it gives you much more area. Uh, the second piece you will get is the actual slider piece itself, which is this middle section. You can see the giant gear back here, which is what allows it to rotate and give you that 14 inches of play forward and back. And third is these mounting plates on the side. As you can see, it has three separate bolts, which allows you to do low, medium, and high. It's about an inch each, so you can have about two inches of play depending on what you choose. I chose the very bottom one because we're already pushing 13 feet with our, uh, our fifth wheel, and I just wanted to keep it as low as possible. But you can kind of choose whichever you want. If you want more clearance over your rails, maybe go with the top one. I just wanted to have as low profile vehicle as possible. And lastly, you might be noticing this uh, rail system with these four quick release corners right here. This is not something you're required to get because the Demco Auto Slider Hitch does fit your normal standard rail. So if you already have that, this isn't something you have to worry about. But because I have a Ram truck that had the fifth wheel prep package, I opted to get this, which allows me to very easily release the quick pin, pound this open on all four corners, and then it literally just slides out which was great because it allowed me to do installation myself. And I am not what you would call mechanically inclined. I like to figure out how things work, but more often than not, I end up breaking things than fixing things. So this was simple enough that I could get it. I mounted this in, put in these four bolts on either side and put a pin through. That was it for setup. Okay guys, so that's a quick overview of what you can expect to get if you do order the Demco Auto Slider Hitch. Let's go ahead and show you a quick overview of how I hook up, how I unhook, just so you can see how it works in motion because it's actually pretty cool. All right, so like I guys told you originally, in order to hook up every time you hook up, you do have to loosen these bolts. So as you can see, I'm just gonna take each one of these out about an inch, half an inch. The further you take it out, the more give it'll give you for hooking up. So if you're new, you might want to take them all the way out. If you know what you're doing, then you know you could basically barely loosen them because what it's doing is allowing you to have more space for the slide to just go in there. So I look good, I'm gonna loosen these all the way up. <laughs> there you go, you guys saw in real time how long it took. That wasn't that bad. Uh, make sure that your hitch is pulled out. By hitch, I mean the uh, quick release here is pulled out. That way the hitch can slide in. And that's it, you are prepped for backing in. So let's go ahead and back in real quick. And hopefully I do this the first time. All right, there we go. You guys saw a latch into place there. So now all we gotta do is tighten the bolts. Let's tighten both these bolts. Again, it doesn't take more than a few seconds. It is an inconvenience, but it's way better than having to get out every time you think you might need to do a turn. All right, there we go. It's good for the right side. We do the same thing to the other side. Put in a safety pin. I like to put it on my, uh, my e-brake thing, emergency brake, I loop it through here and then put that through there. That way I know I'm good to go. And now we should be good to pull out. All right, as we pull forward here, you can see that the further I turn, the further back that auto slider hitch slides back. That was a pretty subtle turn, so it probably only went back like six inches or so. But the cool thing about this hitch is, as you can see, because it slides back, I have room in front of it to put a full-on dirt bike as well as a kid's bike. There's gas cans, a whole bunch of stuff back there. Okay, here's a pretty good turn where you can see it's going back, I would say about 80% of the way, but the fifth wheel itself is nowhere near the cab. That's the benefit of this slider hitch is you can have so much more space here. If I didn't have this slider hitch, I would probably be breaking out my window on that last turn there. Okay, now for unhooking. The benefit of unhooking is you actually do not have to loosen the bolts when you unhook. Uh, in fact, you probably won't be able to because they will be like pinched in there from the fact that there's been so much pressure against those bolts. You might be able to get out an actual wrench and loosen it up, but there's no need to. So you literally just unhook, pull the pin out, and then pull forward. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. That way you can see how to unhook as well. What I do like to do is raise the fifth wheel up to a point where you can see most of the pressure has been released from the hitch because that way your truck isn't you know, going up a good foot or two after you pull out. So once you have the, the fifth wheel raised up to where it needs to be, take out your safety pin, take off your e-brake thing, pull out your pin, Lock that into place and you should be good to pull forward now. All 
All right, guys, you've seen it in motion. You've heard me talk about it. I, I just want to endorse, I have driven this thing all across the country, from Washington to California, all the way across to Florida, literally thousands of miles, and this thing has been great. But don't take my word for it, you guys. You can check out that link down below, which will take you over to Amazon. You can see more detailed specifics. You can read other people's reviews, and just kind of do your own research, as that's how I did it before I bought this, is just checking out things online, and I found this to be the best buy. And if you guys want to see those travels, don't forget to subscribe down below as we travel all across the country we do two travel vlogs a week as well as reviews and tutorials just like this one so until next time guys remember stay positive get out there life is an adventure so make some memories